Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Latrell, and today I got a video for y'all. This is ZT Blade Vantage review. So, I didn't think I'd be doing a review on this phone, but this actually qualifies for a review because I had this for a month or something like that now, and I've been using this a lot. So, yeah, this definitely qualifies for a review. This is actually my home phone, which means I don't bring it with me anywhere, but I use it the most when I'm at my house. So, yeah, just let you know that. So, this video is going to be a Fossey Carter style, which means I'm going to get into the things I don't like first. Then I'm going to get into the things I do like, so let's just get into the video. Alright, so get into the things I don't like, which is the screen quality, or like thereof. Look at this screen. I mean, look at the viewing angles and everything here. It's terrible. I really don't like the screen out here, and this is one thing I really don't like about this phone most, is the screen is 480p on YouTube and stuff like that, so I'm not really feeling that at all. Look on this Galaxy Express 3 here, and I, yeah, this is like $10 more or something like that, but... It has an uh, AMOLED screen, it's 720p and everything like that, and it's just way better than this, but that's Samsung for you, I guess, but I really don't like the screen on here, so yeah, not feeling it. Next, no Google Assistant. Now, I really don't understand this because this is on Android 7.1.1, we should been had this on here, but there's no Google Assistant, you just get that little thing that reads your screen and try to pull up something, but yeah, there's no Google Assistant, I really don't know why it's not loading right now, but yeah, that's all you get right there, so no Google Assistant, I use a lot or Bixby or something like that, so I'm not feeling that. So next up is the speaker placement and the speaker loudness or lack thereof. Now this is a bad spot to put a speaker because well, if you're watching a video or something like that, then you're covering a speaker, yeah you can move your hand to down here or something like that, but maybe I don't want to put my hand down there. And it's just like, they should really put the speaker over here or at the top or something like that, like I really don't like that spot right there. And it's not that loud, so yeah, that's something I really don't like. Now these last few is going to be pretty petty, but whatever it is, what it is. So no USB Type-C. We have micro USB, and we're pushing towards USB Type-C. We're in like 2018 now. This phone came out in late 2017, so it should have had USB Type-C. So yeah, I'm trying to build my USB Type-C phones, but with a phone like this, I can't do that. So maybe ZTE, if you want to put it in your next phone, your next Blade Vantage, that would be cool. I don't see that happening, but yeah, you should really put it in there. Next. No Android 8.0, and when this phone came out, Android 8.0 was out, so they should really have Android 8.0 on here. And it's just a thing where it don't get updates because just look at it down here, it has the August security patch, so that's pretty trash. I really don't like that, so ZTE, Android 8.0 should have been on there because when it came out, like I said, Android 8.0 was already out, so yeah, not feeling it. Next, no dual band Wi-Fi, so I can't get 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi on here for faster speeds and all that there. So you can see on here, there's no J-Home 5 gigahertz because, well, it don't support that. So I don't like that. I feel like it wouldn't have been that expensive just to put on this phone, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. But really, I would have liked that on here. Next, no NFC. Yeah, I know this is a cheap phone, but I still want to put it out here. There's no NFC on here, and I'm not feeling that because I use NFC a lot now because I could just tap my phone on other phones. So it'll just work. You know, it's just, it's just not on here. It's more inconvenient, and I just don't like it. All right, so that's the things I don't like about the phone. So let's get into the things I do like, and that's starting off with the speed and the responsiveness. Now, this phone never lags and never freezes. I'm not even lying to you. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, this thing is just smooth. It's butter smooth, and I really like that. It has Android 7.1, which you would think it would slow it down, but not really at all. So I'm really feeling that. And overall, it's just really stable, so... Pretty cool ZTE, I really like that. Next, the screen size. Now, I really like the screen size on here. You know, I like it on my Galaxy Note because it's actually bigger and all that there, but this is a pretty good size. Ladies, it feel good in the hands, but you know, I, I really like the screen size on here. Even though the screen is trash, I like the screen size itself, so really feeling that. Next, the sound quality. Now, yeah, I did say the sound was actually pretty quiet, but the sound quality itself it's pretty good, so I'm going to go to this song real quick. And you can't really hear it through the microphone, but it's pretty good. I really like the, the sound quality on here. Like, if I'm watching a video or something like that on here, you're not going to be disappointed because it sounds pretty good. Next is the Android version. Now, so even though I said it, I don't like it has Android 8.0 on here, it's still pretty new on here. So, I'm feeling that. Good job, ZT. But, yeah, even though it could have had Android 8.0, it also could have had the Android 6.0 or something like that. So, Android 7.1.1 on here. That's pretty dope. And also means no emoji. So if I go here, 
actually no they were clicked the wrong button like twice but check this out we have new emojis on here so cool next is the camera so how much is this phone $40 or something like that just look at the quality on the pictures on here let me go ahead and rotate this real quick that is pretty clear I really like the camera on this phone like it's pretty dang clear I'm really feeling it next is a ZTE Android skin so it's not stock Android or anything like that but and, you know it's pretty cool because it has additional feature that's pretty useful like this sound button right here I could quickly switch right here and Android stock Android doesn't have that so to have it on here that's pretty cool you also got some additional features like I can swipe down on here to get to the notifications real quick I mean just little things like that I'm really feeling that headphone jack because yeah we have a headphone jack so yeah cool stuff we actually have a headphone jack this isn't no iPhone this isn't no I think the Google Pixel then they get rid of that in the Google Pixel so yeah they have a headphone jack in here so yeah I'm really feeling that thanks CT for keeping it on here because I really wouldn't have liked that if it didn't have it and yeah headphone jack cool next is the built-in radio so yeah it actually has a built-in radio on this phone which more phones should have so I actually like that it has built-in radio on here because I like to listen to my local station sometimes so I'm really feeling that. Next is actually the amount of storage on here. So like I said, this is a $40 phone and I expected like 8 gigs or something like that, but no. We have 16 gigs. Now, I know that's not really that good for today's standards, but I still like that it has 16 gigs of storage on here. Like, I use 32 gigs on my Galaxy Note 5 and when the S9 Plus gets here, that's going to have 64. But to have 16 gigs on a phone that's cheap, that's pretty cool. So CTE, that's pretty cool. I really like that next the build quality now it's no metal and glass or anything like that but it's plastic but it doesn't feel you know like cheap plastic or anything like that like it feels pretty good in the hands ladies but yeah like i said i'm really feeling the build quality on here it doesn't feel cheap it feels all right you know it's cool and guys that's pretty much it for my review so overall how am i feeling about this phone i'm really liking this phone like this is a pretty good phone for the price now it feels like a hundred dollars or something like that then we have to talk, but this is a pretty good phone for $40 or $50, however much you pay for it, around that price. But yeah, guys, I recommend this phone, so go ahead and pick it up. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.